Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing a spotlight on petite palettes. Finally, for these two quads from Midas Cosmetics, these are part of the new, well, not really new anymore, but their newer coffee collection. I think they had four quads total, but I really only wanted to pick up two. We have first the Pumpkin Spice Latte palette, like, ah. Uh, Yes. And then we have the Green Tea Macchiato palette, which is also just gorgeous. I, I had to get these two. I've had them both for a while. I've tested them out thoroughly. So this Spotlight on Petite palettes isn't really like a first impression or a first couple times trying it. I've used both these palettes multiple times, and so I can really give you my full thoughts on them. And I thought it would be fun to just do one palette on each eye. I really don't have to go anywhere like important today, so I might look a little weird but I think it'd be fun to do this. Thank you to everyone who like loved the last Spotlight on Petite palettes. It was a shorter one, more of like a music kind of a tutorial version of it. I really want to switch it up and do maybe alternating some shorter ones like that, some longer talk through ones like this. So this is going to be a longer talk through version as I do both of the looks, with both palettes and really give you my thoughts on both of them. So get a snack, get comfy, let's go. So uh, with the Green Tea Macchiato, I did this really pretty, kind of halo eye cut crease look with it so i'm gonna save that one for last i'll probably do it on this eye because i do uh complicated looks better on my right eye because i'm right-handed and for the pumpkin spice latte palette i just really want to do like a nice simple like blown out wing kind of look so we'll start with that one so we have our four colors right here i'm gonna start with just that lightest orange and just start building up a nice transition color but i don't want to bring it out too far to the edge i'm going to keep this mainly like on the actual like lid over here because i'm going to create a nice wing with that darker orange color and since these don't have mirrors i'm just using the mirror of my new color pop palette because i love how like the color pop palettes the mirror takes up the entire thing it's actually like a nice useful mirror and they do stay up like on their own too which is like so useful <laughs> But this isn't about ColourPop, this is about Midas Cosmetics. And I think that is deep enough, because we're going to deepen it up more with the next color. So, next I'm going to be taking this double shot shade, and to build that up, I'm going to use a card and make a nice wing on the edge. So, I'm going to use the mirror over here, so I'll be looking a little bit over to the side. But I'm really going to pack that color on, and... We don't have to worry about matching it and like lining it up because the other eye is already going to look different. But I'm going to pack that color on and start bringing it over. Like that. So just using what's left on my brush, start blending it more into our first orange shade. And these colors, they just blend together so nicely. Look at this. Every time I've used this palette, I think I can only get like one or two like different looking looks out of it, but it's it's gorgeous and they're really fairly effortless. They blend out almost like by themselves. So I think that is nice. I'm going to save this for the lower lash line. So should I go in with the lid color first or the lower lash line first? Let's do the lid color. So this steamed, the only uh, shimmer shade in the palette, I'm going to use all over the lid right here. And I'm going to make sure to put on a glitter glue first. I've tried these shades both with and without a glitter glue. And I just think the glitter glue gives it the extra oomph that it needs to succeed. And we want this to succeed. So I just have i just cleaned like all my makeup brushes and they're all pretty and clean and gorgeous like i spot clean them but i don't deep clean them as often as i probably should so now that they're all like deep cleaned they're so pretty okay so i'm doing like a half cut crease fake cut crease kind of shape with the glitter glue just to give me a way to plan out where i'm going to put that shimmer and then i'm going to take another brush load it up with that shimmer and I do think these apply better with a finger, but when I'm doing something like this, I like to start with a brush and then kind of build it up in intensity with my finger. So now we'll go in because I feel like I can't be as accurate, like if I'm going for a nice clean line with my finger. Oh, look how pretty that is. So now I'm just going to clean up the edges a little bit 
and just kind of define where the shimmer like ends right above my crease and make sure everything's like dry nothing's worse than if you didn't fully coat where the glitter glue is because if you leave glitter glue out and tacky it'll just ruin eventually throughout the day your look that is so pretty if you wanted to keep this look very orange and keep it like this you could just go in with that lighter orange shade in the lower lash line but i want to deepen it up and i want to use that last shade so i'm going to use that last like burgundy shade on my lower lash line so since this is such an intense like deep shade i'm going to use a very flat kind of liner brush to first apply the shade to the lower lash line and then I'm going to use a different more uh, fluffy brush to blend it out. Yeah, look how intense that shade is. Oof. So just packing it on right there and I think that's really all I need. And then a clean little fluffy brush to blend this out and then blend it in a little bit to that outer V and smoke it out and I think just to brighten that up a little bit I'm gonna take our first bright orange shade just a little bit on that same fluffy brush and just accent that color a little bit to really tie it all in oh, look at that how pretty is that it's definitely a more dramatic look if you Blow it out a little bit more and don't go for the darker shades. You can make this a less dramatic look, but I love this. <laughs> it does look funny having it only on one eye, though. So I'm just going to clean up. I got out just a little bit of fallout. Just wipe what's there away. And then I'm going to go ahead. This probably looked nice with lashes, but I'm just going to do mascara and then we'll move on to the other eye. I don't know. I got a little bit of mascara on my eyeshadow look, but tip. Uh, wait for the mascara to dry and then just use a q-tip to just nudge it off. Don't try to remove it when it's wet. But this is the look with the pumpkin spice palette. Pumpkin spice latte palette, just that side. <laughs> okay, so for the green tea macchiato palette, I mentioned I did a halo eye that looked really pretty. And I'm going to try and recreate that here with like this really light shade and then this green shade here. So I'm going to take a angled liner brush and angled liner brush monica grammar and i'm gonna light or i'm going to load it up with the lightest shade and i'm gonna start by outlining where i want kind of the halo to be which is kind of hard on a focus focus it's a little high we can make that lower there we go so we kind of have an outline of where i want the shade to go so now I'm going to take a fluffy brush and focus it just like on blending f out up from that line making sure I bring it in because with a halo we want to make sure the shadow is brought all the way in so now that we have that blended out I'm going to take that same angled liner brush do a quick color switch on it and I'm going to take the green and I'm going to do kind of the same thing line out where I want the green, which is going to be mainly this inner section and this outer section. And I also, I want to wing this out, but I'm not going to do that until I start blending it out. So we've got the line. We've got the line here. Just flick it out there. And same brush, uh, same fluffy brush color switch it don't drop your color switch and be careful with how much you load up because this is a very pigmented green shade which is gorgeous but be careful with how much you have there and just start doing the same thing blending it up and out you see how pigmented this is Oof! you don't need much So before I get too far out here, I'm going to do the same thing on this side and like create a nice wing. So now I'm going to load up the green. Line it up like right there and start. Just like that. Ah, yes. I am loving how that looks. I want to go in again with that light brown shade just a little bit because I did kind of cover a lot of it up. 
So we're going to go back in and just lightly blend out the edges. Like that. And you see, I did bring it a little bit onto the lid. I'm just giving it a little bit of pigment because we are going to go onto the lid with the bronze shimmer shade with some glitter glue. So when I did this cut crease look in the past, I did, or the halo look, I did actually cut it out with concealer, but I don't think I need to do that now. So I'm just going to go in with glitter glue once again, but instead of doing it like all the way in, I am going to do it more in like a halo kind of shape and just do like that middle area. So what I'm gonna do is load up the glitter glue and just focus it in the middle of my lid where I have that brown and I'm gonna take this on my lid and then look up and see where it went onto the top and build it out from there. Like that, oh, perfect. Ah. I've been getting a lot better at doing halos. I used to suck at doing halo eyes. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this bronze shade called Crema and I'm gonna use this for my halo. And it looks a bit dark at first, but once you blend it in and you see it with the rest of the shades, it's so pretty. And then just to add a little bit more intensity, I'm gonna go under the little bit on my finger and just build up that middle section. How gorgeous is that? Okay, and then I'm just slightly blending the edges with the other shades. And for something like this where it's this deep, I want to go back in with my original fluffy brush and just blend in the matte shades with that shimmer on the edges. Like that. Okay, so for the lower lash line, I'm just going to go in with a little bit on um, a flat liner brush of the green shade we used. And since this is so pigmented, you really only need a little bit. So I'm going to just put, press it against my lash line just on like the outer third right here. That should be enough. And then take our little blending brush and blend this out. Beautiful. And now take that lightest brown shade, kind of pukey brown shade, and smoke that lower lash line out. Really build it out. And just continue blending that out because you want this lower lash line blend to match the blend that you have up here. And it's going to look so pretty. God, I love that whole look. I love the way green looks with like bronze. Oh, so pretty. Last thing, I just have a clean, a fluffy brush and just do a final blend everywhere. How pretty is this? Like I'm getting major Slytherin vibes from this eye. <laughs> it's so pretty. So let me just wipe away a little bit of the fallout and then we'll do mascara. This is definitely a look where you could do like liner and lashes, but I haven't been using liner or lashes a lot recently, so I just do mascara. Okay, and here we have it. Both looks with both of the new Midas Cosmetics coffee palettes that I got. And I did purchase these with my own money. These were not set in PR. But I love, I love both these palettes. And this isn't the first time I've used them. I've used them several times. For the Pumpkin Spice Latte palette, I do think, unfortunately, it is a little bit too orangey for me to wear to work. But the uh, Green Tea Macchiato palette, I have worn this to work several times using this, these two shades and the bronze or just these two shades. I can kind of get away with using the green on the lower lash line, but it is very bright and it, it's a gorgeous green shadow, honestly. I love this. Love both the palettes. I honestly think this would be like a perfect... I honestly think this would be a perfect palette if I had one more shade. I just want a lighter green shimmer to use on the inner corner and on my brow bone. If it had a lighter green shimmer, it might be like just my perfect palette. I love this palette. <laughs> and I think you can get a lot more versatile looks out of this palette than you can out of the a pumpkin spice palette. But I do love my pumpkin spice palette and I love that it actually is orange and pumpkin spicy. You know, we see so many palettes that say they're pumpkin spice, but like they're just brown. <laughs> this is an actual, let me open it up. This is an actual pumpkin spice palette. Oh, I love both these palettes. They're so good. I love the quality. They last throughout a full day. They're gorgeous. They practically blend themselves out. So I would really recommend these two palettes. They have two other palettes in these quads from this collection. I didn't try them, but I've seen a lot of other people love them. And if their formulas are anything like these ones, they're solid.
So thank you guys so much for watching this Spotlight on Petite palettes. Let me know down below if you like Midas Cosmetics and if you like these coffee themed palettes and if you've tried anything from them and if you are interested now in buying anything from them. That's a lot of questions. Write me an essay below. <laughs> thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.